me. Tell me how much you love me. Come on. Hey, record the cow. Tell me how much you love me. I love you a lot. My husband David was just recently deported in May 2017 and left me and his four children behind. He came here from Mexico when he was a little over two years of age and he's lived here his whole life. We've had two children and he's raised my two older girls. Even though we weren't his kids, he provided like we were and treated us like we were and he was just always there when we needed him. What do you miss most about your dad? Him being here. Can you tell me what kind of stuff you did with your dad? What, what we used to go travel around. David hadn't been back to Mexico since he was a baby, over 30 years ago. Okay, everything's about done. President Trump has stepped up deportations of people like him, who have stronger ties to the U.S. than anywhere else. They have U.S. citizen children, spouses, families. Since coming into office, President Trump has quickly undone policies that protected many undocumented immigrants from deportation. David first got on the radar of immigration authorities in 2005 for driving without a license. Soon after, he got a DUI. When he was stopped in 2017, more than a decade later, for having his hazard lights on, he was automatically deported. Every day is a struggle as far as trying to keep up with bills, taking him to school, cooking, cleaning, and everything. Keeping a roof over these kids' head, you know? Not only because we need him financially, but my kids need him. I need him, you know? My mom, she's been struggling a lot with bills and looking for a job. I hate seeing my mom cry the way she does. And my little brother and my little sister, they, it's like a daily thing when they throw fits. Things are just different. Right, let's do this, hurry up. If you quit moving, then I can finish and you can go back outside, okay? It feels like our family's broken, like there's a big old piece missing from it. Mommy, I think maybe next year we should get a real one. Christmas tree and a bigger one. This one's hard. David tried to get back in just recently, but got caught. Now he has a bar of 20 years where he can't return to the U.S. And if he tries it again and gets caught, then he's looking at prison time. Um, like, Look, Mommy and Daddy made this one. Okay. That one. So you're gonna put the star on the middle. Turn it, here, help Mama. These deportations are having a devastating impact on American families and communities. The U.S. should change the law to consider the strength of an immigrant's connections to the United States when deciding whether they should be deported. As a policy matter, the best way to make sure these ties are respected is to pass a fair and inclusive legalization program for the millions of unauthorized immigrants with ties to the U.S. What Congress should do immediately is pass a DREAM Act without increasing funding for harmful immigration enforcement.